Yeah. One of SoCal's best against a former or current PGR uh, level player. So this is really, really, really neat to see. And you can only catch it here on uh, 2DG's Twitch channel. Yeah. Oh, different character names here, but nonetheless, it's going to be tooling for us to speak at you. Good early response to Marco on the shield pressure, but now eating a... Ooh, almost there. Early on so far, the two players are essentially trading uh, combo strings, but Marco just able to capitalize on that jump call out. Big fair kill. Wow, I can't believe Marco had that uh, snappy response to the quick attack back to ledge, but he did. He will put on about 55 before he's taking his first damage. Yeah, good stuff on Marco, though. Doing an excellent job, just kind of oh. waiting on shield. Knows, you know what? I have to lead. It's Mr. L who kind of has to make the play towards me. Yeah, that boomerang saved Marco from uh, a clippable uh, tech chase there. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, that's one of the things that why you see all the lead links definitely toss out boomerang continuously. It's a really great projectile to set up for follow ups that earlier and even some later presents, but it's also a really good tool to just potentially break grab options from your opponent. Oh, Marco looking for the follow up there. Not quite. I think Mr. L may have held up to DI up to avoid that. Oh, oh. big up tilt. No, up smash. Definitely a really oh, big smash. up smash. <laughs> close, close, man. You know, kind of They're so quick. <laughs> well, that's the crazy thing about Team Link and Young Link as a whole, right? Those are two very fast characters. That's kind of what gives them the edge over regular Link, is they're just fast and nimble and really great with projectiles. And of course, Team Link's projectiles are lasting for quite some time. What a great way to come back on the stage and set up that really good lasting forward tilt to punish Mr. L at the ledge. Mr. L trying down on the board here, but Marco is running away with this game one. Well, that was a weird knockback. <laughs> Bottom drop, but does not inter interrupt Mr. L's combo. Oh, I think Marco decided just to take the SD there on that one. Uh, Mr. L looking for the big drag down, almost dragged himself down. But again, Pikachu's mobility off stage is so, it's like second to none, so of course he survived. Marco right now is trying to play as patiently as possible. Trying to avoid the big Pikachu setups. Good so job. So far, yeah, it's so seen so far keeping Mr. L at bay. Oh, that was a great play too, because he waited for Boomerang. Mr. L went for an out of shield option with Marco still on the ground. And that essentially gave Marco the center stage, which is definitely great plays Marco is making to avoid a lot of things from Mr. L and Pikachu as a whole. All right, unfortunately, the landing frames of the up air will not be to Marco's favor as Mr. L here looking to get a big play. Unfortunately, there's a re-grab. Excellent forward to put Marco off the stage. This is definitely L's edge guard using the thunder to stall for just a second, trying to get a pick here. I think it's really winning Marco right now is his air drift. He's doing such a good job of avoiding Mr. L's big confirms. <laughs> okay, third, third time's the charm. Mr. L finally getting some shield pressure. Oh, Marco's oh. off stage. That's going to do it for a second stock. Yeah, uh, not enough height. That's just the power of Pikachu. Oh, my gosh. The patience of Mr. L. Marco was trying to run on him there, but that's going to do it for game one. Marco, just too much for Mr. L to overcome there. Honestly, it's like I said, man. Like, Marco's the one. Marco and Kairos were two players that, like, before before like COVID, like they were just really, really strong. Like yep. they, they were the two grinders that you would see at like a lot of LA tournaments. Uh, Fro, we saw them all the time, Fro. We, you mm -hmm. and me, we always saw them at Hat. We would see them at MSM. We would see them at the CS on Fridays. They were two players that were just in the grind, man. And then honestly, like, and I know for Marco, he's got work. And I know for Kairos, he's got school and work. And they put in a lot of work with their characters that they were definitely in contention to probably have a really good season and probably get ranked COVID happened but it's still good to see Marco like nonetheless take it up against Mr. L putting it one oh a piece say what you want about Wi-Fi say what you want about Tilnik Marco knows how to move around his opponents and say what you will about Wi-Fi 
Pikachu and Kalos is always a tough time, no matter what the circumstances are. And here we go, game two. A lot like game oh, one. No. Oh, unlike game one, there's an SD there. That was a funny bomb drop. <laughs> I was going to say, like, I'm, I'm still kind of reeling back, unfortunately, like, on that SD, but a great show to Tank. Uh, Tank definitely letting us know, hey, man, Marco's got a job working with World 8 Tank. Honestly, shout out yeah. to World 8. I definitely want to give him a big shout out because it's another tournament that Marco definitely goes to. And a beautiful and excellent yep. game store that you guys should also check out if you guys live in the LA area. Nonetheless, Marco using that spin attack to get the recovery here, and he's going to continue this lead over Mr. L using the bomb throw to the up air, knowing the trajectory that it sends to Pikachu. I see Mr. L is trying to find his bearings. I feel like the SD and was like a thunder in game one. It really gives it has the reign of just some misinputs, but I said Mr. L is a veteran. He's gonna try and find the best route to get back in this one. Yeah. Oh nice quick attack anticipating Marco's landing. <laughs> Give him the run around. Looking for fair, not quick to get it, but does get the dash attack. Yeah, nonetheless good punish down the platform, giving Mr. a little bit of a chance. If you are going to take Thunder against Pikachu in this matchup, you're likely going to want to be taking it where you can land on the platform so you don't get the full knockback of being dragged down to the stage near Pikachu. Marco trying to cover ledge, but oh. against Pikachu, there's really no ledge trapping. And that was good, too, on Marco understanding like the way that Mr. has been shielding against a lot of the projectiles, just trying to get a back throw specifically given the position where Marco was. Nonetheless, what a good play, trying to get the down air and using the boomerang, trying to secure it nonetheless. That was really well, good recognition by Mr. Owl, realizing that like, he had more than enough shield health to take that. Whoa, knockback on that was crazy. But Mr. Owl still survived because it didn't speak at you. <laughs> and Mr. Owl trying to slow things down, but Marco finally getting in. Marco is probably fine with things going slow, especially just being able to fire back with that up air. Now, Mr. L, it's on his last winter side stock. Well, that's the crazy thing about Tilling, too. It's like his aerial drift is really good. His projectiles can be at a decent speed where it's like somewhat slow, not too fast. They're out there. They're kind of in the middle of the air, so you kind of have to evaluate them a lot. And this gives Marco a lot of tools to work oh, with against Pikachu. Big down air. Excellent nice, forward nice. air. Good drag down for the regrab here. This is the play Mr. L needs. Marco on 91. And one strong Pikachu confirmed from stock loss, so Marco needs to play as slow and patiently as possible. Yeah, honestly, Marco still got the lead. He has no reason to over oh, no. assert himself. All right, stunning frames of forward tilt, not enough kind of to get here through. Um, up tilt, what a great play using the immediately reverse up tilt there. All right, Marco trying to take standard stage control, stunning frames on the. Bow, on the arrow. Yeah, with yeah. too slow, deal with dash attack. And that's honestly the best way to deal against a character like Toon Link, and actually all the Links as a whole, is their end lag and their starting frames can definitely be called yep. out. They're not the best. Oh, that Thunder hip was weak enough not to drag down Marco. Yeah, Mr. L looking to slowly make this play here. Marco at 169, a couple Thunder Jolts. Good stuff with the Poking Fortune. Safe move there, too. You know Mr. L does not want to overcommit and give Marco a chance. Marco looking for the kill shot. They're not going to get it. Just the, the window Mr. L needed to secure with the grab up throw. I think Pikachu up throw, even on Kalos, will kill around like 170. <laughs> nice parry and patience there from Mr. L. It's down throw, looking for the loops. Gonna get the loops. Oh, yeah, and honestly, that's what Mr. L needs to lose. Oh. Jab reset. Marco looking to lose his lead here. Mr. L, 71. He has slowly brought this back while Marco does an excellent job using the spin attack, stopping Mr. L from going for a get up attack or a roll back option. Throw. Marco trying to make this the last interaction of the game. That's nope, good, too. Mr. Look L at the way did. he threatens the air, too. He waits for Mr. L for an out of shield option, but also has boomerang to make a coverage. All right, good job on Marco. Takes center stage, and Mr. L sees the oh, opportunity. Oh, I thought Dash Tech was going to be it, but yeah, the back uh, grab. Mr. L matches out. Yeah, that was good, too. It's, you could tell Marco went for the complete complete option to go for pummels, knowing Mr. L is not ready for the back throw yet. This is going to be the back throw. Yeah, 140, and that'll be all she wrote here. Marvelous Marco still not with the oh, game. No, no, no. Mr. L still living. Don't worry about yet. The up there for Mr. L. This is looking oh. bad for Marco, but Marco got the bomb. Yeah. 
the secures him himself back on the stage. Another bomb to set Marco back for stage. And the control and the forward to Marco taking it over Mr. L. 2 0. -oh, ladies and gentlemen, one of Silk House finest. Advancing to winner's finals.